I am Jennifer Hayden with the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History and we are in our outdoor exhibit area, Heritage Park. So this is a nine acre outdoor exhibit area that has airplanes, we have missiles, we have a nuclear submarine sail behind me, all kinds of artifacts and objects that are too big to go inside the museum. So with Heritage Park, we have airplanes that I'm about to throw a lot of numbers and letters at you all at once. We have our B-29 Super Fortress, which is the same type of airplane as the Enola Gay that ended World War II. We have the B-52 Strata Fortress that has a surface area of over three quarters of an acre. It is so huge. Also, it is the last airplane in American history to drop a nuclear bomb for testing purposes, but it is Albuquerque's airplane that went straight from Boeing to Albuquerque, and it's been here ever since now at our museum. We have a B-47 Stratojet. We have an F-16 Fighting Falcon. There's so many airplanes here. Our submarine cell is the USS James K. Polk nuclear submarine cell, and with the this, people ask me all the time, do you have a submarine underneath the ground? Unfortunately, we do not. That would be very, very cool if we did. But we also have a Trinity Tower. So the Trinity Tower is the 100 foot steel tower. It's a replica of the one that was used in 1945 to hold the world's very first atomic bomb, the gadget, that was tested in White Sands, New Mexico. So when we open again to the public, welcoming everyone into the museum, definitely come and make sure that you see our nine acre outdoor exhibit area, Heritage Park, for all of the airplanes, missiles, some of the most awesome objects that we have at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. Thank you.